G'day everyone, Luck Horse here. Well, earlier today, DE released PC Hotfix 24.7.3, so let's take a look at the highlights of the addition, changes, and fixes in this episode of TAC Update. First off, the Vent Kids Clubhouse Captura scene has been added to the Vent Kids offerings, so pop down and see Roki on Fortuna, where the scene will set you back 130,000 Vent Kids standing. On to general changes now, and you can now access a Clan Dojo map legend by pressing the backspace key when viewing the map, and of course you can change that key under the customized key bindings. DE have also removed an unreleased ephemera from being chat linkable and they made some tweaks to bring Limbo's rift effects to a happy medium between different levels of environment exposure and I'm looking forward to seeing how these changes go. I know especially in the Kuva Fortress it can be quite difficult to tell when Limbo's in the rift or not so yeah looking forward to see how these one, this change goes. Alright and moving on to general fixes now and they fixed bugs caused by prototype code that could corrupt input bindings and break menu input. Input. They fixed a mission that could result in a defense mission progression stopper. D fixed submersible enemies not spawning in the Grenier Sea Lab tile set due to a script error. Hildren's exalted weapon, the Balefire, received a fix that it can now damage the Juggernaut. And they've made further fixes towards assassin type enemies, you know, like Wolf of Satin 6 or Stalker, choosing to appear as you're trying to extract. D also fixed perpetually spinning when dual wielding with a glaive. They've fixed clients being able to hear switching sounds for the Stradivar, which which is a beautiful weapon, especially the Prime variant too. And wrapping up the fixes with this one, DE fixed a script error that occurred when an objective was triggered. So that's the highlights of the addition, changes and fixes that came with PC Hotfix 24.7.3. As these are the highlights, if you'd like to read through the patch notes yourself, I've linked them in the video description below. So what did you think of everything in this hotfix? Well make sure you let me know in the comments section below or via Twitter, at LuckTorse. Thanks for watching everyone, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video if it helped you out or you just simply enjoyed it, check out my Twitter and I hope you're having a great time in Warframe. Cheers.